for this next uh, video lecture so we will be discussing about just in time manufacturing and purchasing okay so GIT or just in time manufacturing and purchasing systems offer a prominent example of how managers can use their strategic concepts and firms okay that implement uh, pursuing cost reduction strategy Okay, so this is by redefining the structural and their uh, procedural activities that is being performed within their organization or firm. Okay, so uh, GIT can also help add value because they reduce the waste and uh, it successfully implement uh, or its successful implementation will brought about significant improvements such as better quality, uh, increased productivity, and it could also help in adding value because here, the lead time will be reduced. Lead time is the time that uh, we placed or the, en the entity placed an order from the supplier until the time that it uh, is received, okay? So, GIT also helps to reduce inventory, the level of inventory, uh, in which uh, it will also reduce the cost of handling those inventories. Okay, it could also reduce setup times, uh, reduce the lead times, as men mentioned, um, lower manufacturing cost, and increase the production rates. Okay, so GIT manufacturing is a demand pool system. Okay, meaning to say here, um, the input in the inventory will only be uh, ordered if it is needed. And the number of orders will be based on the demand. Okay, so the entity will not order or purchase more than what they need at the moment. Okay, so the objectives of uh, GIT manufacturing is to eliminate waste because here they want to produce only when it is needed and only in the quantities demanded by the customers. So therefore, uh, excessive inventories and lead time will be reduced. Okay, so here, if just in time manufacturing and purchasing is implemented so what will be the effect on our inventory so some of them were mentioned earlier so here G uh, GIT purchasing requires suppliers to deliver parts and materials just in time when uh, it is needed for production so here the entity should establish a strong relationship with their suppliers so that uh, they can be able to um have on time deliveries and the exact number of quantities and quality of the inventory or inputted or materials that they would want to purchase at a given period of time so here the supply of parts must be linked to their production demand okay so production which is linked to the demand the effect of this scheme is to reduce all inventories to much lower levels because other uh, cases in which uh, the entity carries excessive inventory. So the tendency is that, especially if they are paying for a warehouse to store the inventory, so handling cost or handling of inventories will be um, excessive. And especially if the inventories are prone to damage or um, um, prone to damage or expiration. So if they are um, carrying excessive inventories, then some of the inventories which were not um, used or sold might be uh, lost okay? because they will no longer be um, used for production because of their status 
Okay, so traditionally, inventories of raw materials had and parts are carried so that the firm can take advantage of quantity discounts. Okay, and they can also avoid higher prices increase in the future for those items purchased. So this is um, in contrast with that of the GIT. So the traditional uh, concept is that we should buy more to get quantity discounts and to avoid price increase in the future. But this will lead to excessive uh, inventory levels. So here, um, the objective of GIT is to lower. I, I mean, the objective that the entity should uh, achieve also is to have a lower cost of inventory. So therefore, um, GIT achieves the same objective without getting the inventories. So here, although um, under the GIT purchasing, although the entity will not, uh, they, they will not, um, take advantage of the quantity discount and the price increase in the future, but they can lower the carrying cost of inventory. Okay, so the GIT solution is to exploit supplier linkage because here, as mentioned earlier, um, there should be a negotiation and long-term relationship, okay, contracts with the few chosen suppliers. And you should also... Uh, choose those suppliers which are located as close to your production facility. So as possible, and by establishing more extensive supplier environment as well. So the suppliers are not selected on the basis of the price alone this time. So again, this is based on the long-term relationship okay, with your suppliers. And if they are able to deliver on the specified date, on a specified number of units and quality. So what about under the plant layout? So what is the effect of GIT manufacturing? So here, uh, under the GIT production process, the traditional plant layout is replaced with a pattern of a manufacturing cell. Okay, so here, the executional cost driver for a GIT setting will be now based on st cell structure and not based on the activities. Okay, so here, uh, cell structure is chosen over departmental structure because it will increase the ability of the organization to execute successfully. Okay, so the manufacturing cells will contain machines that are grouped in families usually in a semicircle, so we will have an illustration of that as we go along. So the machines will be arranged so that they can be used to perform a variety of operations in the sequence. Okay, so each cell is uh, set up to produce a particular product or product family. So here the products will move from one machine to another from start to finish within the um, product cell. And then the workers uh, are assigned to, to the cells and they will be trained to operate all the machines within that cell. So therefore, the labor under the GIT environment is uh, under the multi-skilled and not based on specialized skills. So each of the manufacturing cell is essentially a mini factory and the cells are referred to as factory within factory so this is different because okay so this is the example okay so the this is how the plant layout would look like under the GIT manufacturing so we have here the cell A or uh, product A so they have their um, own lathe grinder and what is this one Welding, okay, and then finished product A. So for product B, they will also have their own cell, product uh, plant layout cell. Okay, so unlike that of the traditional uh, manufacturing, 
whether you have a product A or B, if they require the same process, they will go through the same um, department, like for lathing, grinding, and welding. So they will be produced from finish to start with this one uh, cell alone. However, under the JIT, uh, they should set up a cell for each product. So this is how it works. Okay, and then here, the uh, the worker will operate this three different <laughs> machines or process okay, to produce product A, the same as that of product B. Okay, it's more of a multi-skilled, multi okay, unlike that of the traditional manufacturing, which, re which requires a uh, specification, specific skills. Okay, so this is how the plant layout would look like under the GIT manufacturing. So what about for employee empowerment? So how does GIT manufacturing and purchasing affect employee empowerment? So here, under the GIT, uh, increasing the degree of participation will also increase productivity and overall cost efficiency. So here, that's, that is why in uh, the cell, or the production cell, as uh, mentioned and uh, illustrated a while ago, the worker should be multi-skilled. Okay, because here, it will define their degree of participation, which also is um, related to the increase of productivity, which will then uh, reduce the overall cost of production. So here, the workers are al allowed to say how the plant will be operated. The managers seek the workers' input also and use their suggestion to improve the production processes. So it's like a bottom-up okay, approach. And the workers are often involved in interviewing, especially for hiring new employees, and sometimes even for prospective bosses. Okay. So here, managers under the GIT environment also needs to act as facilitators more than as supervisors. So it change um, their uh, functions somehow. So their role is to develop people as well as their skills so that they can make value-adding contributions. And GIT cannot be implemented without commitment to TQM, of course. So GIT is uh, closely related or tied to total quality control. Okay, so total quality control is essentially a never-ending quest for perfect quality. So this is a concept to strive for a defect-free product design and manufac manufacturing process. It's a continuous uh, process improvement. Okay, so this approach is called as acceptable quality level. So this will permit or allow defects to occur provided they do not exceed a predetermined level. So here, for the management, they can also set a limit when it comes to um, defects because we all know that we cannot actually eliminate totally the defect but we can avoid or minimize it but the occurrence of this defect should be uh, within the acceptable range and minimum level okay so that's how total quality control is okay under the just-in-time manufacturing and purchasing.